Retired Army Brigadier General Anthony Tata has served under both General McChrystal and General Petraeus. He is the author of Rogue Threat, in which all royalties go to help wounded troops. And we really appreciate you being here this Great morning as here, well. Harry. Talk a little bit about General Petraeus, because this was the guy who was the architect of the surge, the very controversial policy right. of ramping up forces in, in Iraq that to a, a, a large extent, was quite successful. That's true. D is, is that a predictor of him being successful this time? Right? Well, I don't think it's a predictor, but certainly you could not have picked a better choice. I did not agree with the decision that the president made mm -hmm. to uh, relieve uh, Stan McChrystal. I thought he should have roughed him up, grabbed him by the face mask, and sent him back on the field. Right. But if you're going to make the wrong decision there, make the right decision on who replaces him. Right. And so we've got the right guy, uh, General Dave Petraeus, who uh, the, the the key is the relationships are everything in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. And you heard Karzai come out before the relief happened saying, please don't do this. Right. We've got good relationships with McChrystal. Well, Petraeus has good relationships uh, with uh, Karzai, mm -hmm. the Pakistani leaders, the, the pl uh, politicians in Pakistan, and that's key. So it's seamless. And he's also got good relationships with all of the president's key policy advisors. So that's going to be seamless. And then, you know, he's got the, we, we remember that his key job in Iraq was the four-star commander, but really the unsung job was when he was training Iraqi police right. and, and uh, army. Because that was a disaster. There. That, that was, was a disaster. Everybody but talked but about training these guys. Right. There were hundreds of thousands when they completely incompetent. He rebuilt that army in a very short period of time. And that is the Achilles heel of what's happening now in Afghanistan. Mm. The Afghan police and army are not as well trained. Right. They are not being cranked out in fashion that they were in Iraq. And so that's the key with Petraeus here. Are there any minuses or downsides or uh, weak links in Petraeus's resume as far as you're concerned? Well, you know, he, he's been called overly ambitious before, but I don't think that applies here because he's actually taking a step down. Right. He, because he was in charge of him. Southern right. Command. Exactly. So he's going right. to be reporting to whoever replaces him. So right. I don't think that that charge applies anymore. Mm -hmm. he, he's been in the field more than he's not been right. in the field. And so there's a burnout factor that may come into uh, play here because right. he is a high energy guy. He works 24 seven. He is extremely dedicated and selfless. And he is going to get there and get after it in the field. And, and he's got a, a, a time Line right. here. This whole this arbitrary deadline of July 2011 was certainly an albatross for his predecessor, and could it be an albatross for him? Uh, I, I think so. I think it was a mistake to put a timeline out there because the, the Taliban have a say, and you Americans have all the watches, but we have all the time. Right. And very quickly, we want to put up a map of Afghanistan because this surge was supposed to really uh, concentrate on the southern part of the country, right. try and pacify that. The, the, the surge that was really supposed to happen this summer has been moved off until this fall. Just how hard is it to win the battle? Well, it's here? hard if you don't have what you, what you asked for. And so what Stan McChrystal asked for this stuff a year ago, he said, in July, he said, I need to win this thing by next August, meaning this August. And so what he wanted to do, he didn't have all the troops that he right. asked for, but he wants to control this area because Baluchistan is the key transshipment point mm -hmm. up from Pakistan and over to Iran and into Kandahar. So he wanted to control that, to set the conditions for this, to cut off this poppy-growing region here, yeah. uh, which is the economic engine of the Taliban. And under any circumstances, will be difficult for whoever. Extremely. In All right, General Tata, thank you so much. Do appreciate it. A lot happens early on the early show. Weekday mornings on CBS.